think we battled. I, it's hard to assess grade-wise. Um, we obviously have to look at the film and for technique and where to get better. Um, I just think that I'm, I'm proud of the guys for continuing to fight. You know, things, obviously there's things to correct like every game, but and the, the loss kind of exacerbates them. But yeah, that's my answer for you. Those rushing yards get tougher to come by as the game kind of goes along. You know, we, we, we went into half feeling really confident about our run game. Uh, we were kind of confident about, you know, those three or four yard runs kind of turning into larger. And we didn't accomplish that today as much as we wanted to. But, uh, you know, it's, it's something to look at for the future as far as uh, the rest of the season. Can you talk about the red zone offense? Because you guys, you know, d did, did a pretty good job getting through the, getting into the Wisconsin territory, but then obviously, you know, finishing just wasn't really clicking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the things that, the, the one of the specifics I'm sure coaches will touch on. Um, I think that, uh, you know, being out there, you know, you, you, you do your best with the, with the play, the hand you're dealt. Um, and, you know, we'll, I just don't have a good answer for you as far as what the reason for that. I just know that our guys played as good as we could today. After you had the sort of even time of possession, is it frustrating to be on the field for eight and a half minutes or nine minutes in the second half? Um, yeah, you know it. You know, with you know, the, every game is different. You know, it, it, it's up to us to capitalize on the opportunities that we have. Um, obviously, we didn't get that accomplished today. Uh, so, you know, it, whatever minutes what we have, whatever the defense is giving us, you know, we need to accomplish more. Did you see out of Tanner tonight? I thought Tanner played well, and uh, we definitely hit some balls down the field that we were able to definitely stretch them out in the pass game. Uh, you know, and then we, we will look at the film for, you know, the O-line protection-wise. There's always some things that we need to get better on. Um, but, yeah, overall, I thought he played well. He played admirable. He was a good leader out there. You guys protected pretty well, I think. But did, did you see a number of different stunts and things like that that maybe you didn't see on film, or, or how exotic did they kind of get in that game? Well, uh, they're a very, uh, you know, I give credit to them. They're a very complex defense uh, compared to what we've had in the past. Uh, and it was up to us to study for it, and I, I really studied on what we were going to see. Um, obviously, there were a couple, you know, idiosyncrasies with the looks they gave that were a little different. Um, but I don't think that it was anything drastic. I think it was just up to our technique, and you know, we need to look at the film to get better on that. Coach Riley said he'd never seen a the pass the pass to Divine that ended up in a pick six on the first yeah. And he'd never seen a play like that. It's a pretty safe play turn out that way. You had to be shocked doing your job, and then <laughs> up and see that right. Yeah, that was definitely a a buzz kill. Definitely first you know first drive we were really on adrenaline rush. You know, given the the anniversary and whatnot, but you know, uh, yeah. obviously one of those plays, you know, is, is just one of those, you know, I don't want to call it fluke, but it definitely was a very interesting development as a play. How do you not go, oh, here we go again, because it was deja, you know, with the, what happened at Northern Illinois, too, it's a similar deal? No, I think that uh, as far as I see it, I haven't really had an opportunity to talk to our, a lot of our um, my, my teammates. Um, this game was, you know, about, you know, you know, they're a very good team. And, you know, I, to get into deja vus from loss to loss is not, um, I don't think, constructive for us. I think it's just a matter of, you know, continuing to play hard. And we have a good team next week, and we need to prepare for them. When you look at what Wisconsin was able to do offensively, do you running the ball 49 times mm -hmm. going up 300 yards. Do you guys look at that and say that's what we want to be as an offense? Yeah. Yeah, running the ball is key. I, that's something as you know, if, uh, as an offensive lineman, I love to run the ball and I think that it's, you know, it's up to us to continue to get b as the best we can on that. How do you get to that level that they were at tonight? Um, it starts with um, you know, I think, you know, when we're in the middle of the season, I think it's you know attention to detail, it's attention to technique, it's attention to you know specific things that we need to go over multiple times over, at least, especially in the early, earlier in the uh, week. Um, and I think we we can definitely look at that as a point of reference, you know, to go forward. Your three games that are now starting, are things are starting to slow down a little bit for you. You feel like you're seeing things that you didn't see when you first came in. Um. 
Well, I, I would say that, uh, you know, more games under your belt, the more experience you are with kind of the physicality and the, the gamesmanship, I guess you could call it. Um, I think i got to continue to stay observant out there as to what we, you know, what they show and how to, you know, kind of, you know, assess what's going on and then, you know, change on the sideline. That's going to be something that i got to continue to uh, do well. Thank you. And Tanner Farmer called you one of his good friends, you know, in this transition. You know, how with the communication, how's it nice to kind of have someone right there right next to you? Well, absolutely. He's, you know, he's one of my best friends, too. He's a great guy, and I think that uh, it definitely helps when you have good relationships with the guys you're playing with. And I have good relationships with everybody on the O-line, I guess. I guess that uh, playing with one of your, your good friends is just another, you know, kind of good sentiment. Yeah, well, did you notice? I mean, I guess the media kind of noticed last week, but he's only had one penalty in his Husher career. That's now. right, yeah. How, yeah. How, how kind of crazy is that for an offensive lineman? Because it's just kind of part of the game. Tanner, yeah, together. Tanner's one of the things Tanner prides himself on is being a very, uh, very um, focused individual, a very uh, technically sound individual, and plays hard as he possibly can. And I think that's a, a tribute to that. Thank you. Yeah.